What's going on guys? You can probably tell by uh, the look on my face. It is early in the morning. My voice probably doesn't even sound right yet. Um, but you gotta do it sometimes. It is a Sunday morning and uh, just heading over to the shop to meet up with a friend of mine and um, gonna do a little two and a half hour road trip this morning to uh, go look at and possibly purchase a 1993 Reef Blue on black, zero option car, like nothing, not an option, no AC, I don't think there's cruise, no windows, no locks, no mirrors, um, maybe mirrors. Uh, tweed, which is good, um, and I found the car, somebody sent it to me actually, Facebook Marketplace, Guys, a little bit off the beaten path, uh, which means, you know, maybe not as much exposure. So it's kind of these types that you need to uh, capitalize on sometimes um, to be able to get a good deal. And we all know Reef Blues, hard color to find. Last year, the Fox, Notch. So um, I know... Uh, there's a couple panels that are not original to the car, but the rest of them are all there. Uh, Carfax looks pretty true and clean otherwise, so we'll get on this road trip here. Go look at ourselves uh, a 93 Reef on Black. Well, here we are in Perth, Ontario, and um, it was kind of a quick transaction. It's rainy, nasty type weather here. I went through with the deal, and um, here she sits. Most annoying thing ever, 5L emblems in the wrong spot. So anybody who wants to pick up on that, I'm well aware. The lovely uh, ricer lower window tint um, piece strip along the bottom of the windshield. The hood's actually, in, it's a really, I guess straight, nice fitting aftermarket hood, but that needs to go. A um, couple little things, moldings, trim, you know, need some restoration here. Uh, a little bit of clear coat peeling here, hard to tell with it being wet. Car had a spoiler. We'll go over all this in details once uh, we're out of the rain here. So we need to uh, hop in and do probably 100 mile journey home and uh, see how it runs and uh, I'll update you guys on the trip. Well, I'm letting Jake have the uh, initial drive of this new 93 Reef Notch. The rain has stopped, which is good. Um, he called me to say it sounds like maybe the diff is howling a little bit or uh, maybe it's just a wheel bearing. So uh, we'll check that out. Otherwise he says everything's running good, working the way that it should. Hell, even the gas gauge works. So that's a good bonus there. You know, car's seen a paint job and uh, saw a light accident on the Carfax report. Uh, looks like the driver's side front fender and uh, front bumper cover have been changed, but VIN stickers are everywhere else. And uh, it's just kind of hard to get away from people having fender benders. Um, but you know, when you're factoring in a 93 Reef Blue Notch, uh, sometimes you have to uh, let a few things slide. Uh, a lot of these cars, when I pick them up, they don't always see um, the light of day for a for sale opportunity. So many people reach out to me and they ask me if I have, you know, clean foxes for sale. And nine times out of ten, people want a coupe. So I already got a couple people in line that I need to follow up with and send them the details on this one once I uh, give it the infamous evaluation report and um, we'll see if it'll still be around or not. Um, I have a feeling this one probably won't last very long. All right guys, the reef car made it home and uh, trying not to get myself dirty. I was getting the lift ready because I'm gonna go ahead and put the car up in the air so that we can uh, really get a good look at the underside. Everything that I looked at, um, on the spot when I bought it. Um, everything looked really clean underneath, so kind of excited to see how clean the car really is, um, top side and under. 
Uh, car drove beautifully, you know, other than a little bit of uh, um, like a humming noise that really sounds like it might just be a wheel bearing, uh, but we'll definitely address that. Exhaust sounds really good. Um, I don't know if it's an off-road H pipe or uh, the guy did work for a muffler shop, so he might have fabbed something up, but there are flow masters on here. You can hear, hear them purring away. Overall and initially, the car presents very well. These pony wheels are pretty much near mint. Um, they do look chrome because they are just as shiny as those center caps. Um, that 5.0 emblem is driving me nuts. Um, you know, the car is filthy. Picked it up in the rain, drove it in the rain, hit a couple mud puddles, as you can see on the side there. Um, the, the hood has to go. Um, the paint overall, um, is pretty good. I would call it driver quality paint. It does need the touch up on uh, the door here where some of the clear coat has started to peel. And then of course on the trunk lid where um, that spoiler was mounted. There's a couple nicks and scratches in the front bumper cover. You know, go over, need a trim restoration on some stuff. But overall, it seems like a pretty nice solid car. Um, it has been repainted. Um, this fender, um, as mentioned before, hood and front bumper cover um, do not match um, the original numbers to the car. And uh, the Carfax said there was a small accident, I think it was in 2012 maybe. Um, it is, they are Ford pieces, just no VIN stickers on them. Jake's review of it driving was really good, so I'm hoping that this car motivated him to get his 93 Reef Blue Coupe done i was helping him with it the other night and um, you can see here a nice black interior no options not even cruise so cobra style steering wheel um, if you're into that and uh, the interior overall is in pretty decent shape it's not perfect but it's pretty good you know somebody ripped the map pockets off unfortunately um, this plastic here so this guy, I think just conditioning this up, this will come back. Um, something must have been, or a product must have been used on here that uh, just didn't like the plastic. Uh, steering wheel's in good shape. The heat actually works, I can feel it. Uh, must have, he said it had an alarm and he ripped that out. So that's probably where the LED was. What do we got here? Some rubbers, some fuses. Armrest is in decent shape. This hideous horse has got to leave off the dash. So I'm gonna have to hit that with the heat gun. But um, headliner, sun visors, everything looks good. And uh, the tweed seat here has got just a little bit of wear. It's hard to get away from. On the lift. So it's pretty clean underneath the hood here with the exception of a bunch of dirt and debris. And while that is one of the reasons why I hate these hoods because you're just allowing all of the dirt, dust, everything else right through these snorkels, right into your engine bay. I would have just assumed that whatever this padding is, they just plugged those snorkels up and called it a day. But um, yeah, so it's filthy in here. It needs a detail. You can see you got a brand new radiator that was installed. I think he did the power steering pump. In terms of the frame rails, um, you can see down there, super clean. There's no rust, brand new clutch cable. You put a new clutch in the car. Um, you can probably see that frame rail there. Again, there's nothing on it. And uh, the rest of the cold air intake kit is in the trunk. He had fitment issues due to um, I think he said with the throttle body, it was sticking out or the pipe was rubbing something. I'm not sure. So it looks like our lower rad support is, uh, that's got a little smooshed. Unfortunately, he did mention that to me. So it's not necessarily a surprise. Um, that could get straightened out. Um, you know, whether it, maybe the car went over a curb, you never know, right? So we can see up here, all of our frame rail area 
Looks nice and clean. Doesn't look like we have any damage. Looks like uh, we were seeping. That's probably the power steering leak that was uh, remnants from that from before, before he did the pump. So we'll get that all cleaned up. Moving down along here. So yeah, we definitely have a off-road H-pipe setup. You know, all these places where we normally see rust, where this firewall meets the floor pan. There's nothing. This is actually very impressive for a Canadian car. 93, so we have the high torque mini starter. Transmission looks pretty clean. I think he said he did a seal. So that's all looking pretty good. We got our uh, Flowmaster mufflers in the back here. Some nice pipe all bent up and he did do control arms. So brand new uppers and lowers in the rear. Those springs look like uh, they might have been changed as well. So it's a nice little bonus, you know, keeps from any clunks and bangs and all of that good stuff. And of course we have some uh, bolt-on subframe connectors, which he's added. He did not weld them in, so they are just bolted. Back bumper area all looks good and clean. Rear frame rails all look very nice. This uh, gas tank cover could use a nice cleaning. There we go. I couldn't leave that gas tank cover looking all dirty like that. I took the five minutes to uh, spray nine that down and throw some uh, conditioner on there. So that's nice and black looking, wipe down the tailpipes and uh, even the rear sway bar. Things are already looking on the up and up for the 93 Reef. So here it is and uh, exciting time as it always is when you get a brand new Fox body, um, you know, well, a new to me Fox. This is, uh, you know, not a perfect car, but a really nice solid car and uh, rare at that. So no complaints. I did want to actually check out, I think he said he put new struts in this. So before I put the car back down, let's have a look. I think he said he put new uh, KYBs in it. Oh yeah. Got some uh, KYB GR2 struts. Looks like new springs in the front as well. I'm not sure if these like they're new springs. I couldn't tell you if they're lowering springs or not. This tie rod actually looks new as well. Both the tie rods, struts, to check out the shocks. Shocks are looking original, as uh, are those quad shocks up in there. So I really can't complain on this one. And again, going back to the seller, um, he was somebody that you could tell um, wasn't you know, trying to nickel and dime his way, you know, through maintaining the car and bringing it up to speed where it needed to be. Um, you know, he bought brand new replacement parts, was replacing the right things, with the control arms, the struts, even put those new springs in there, tie rods. Jake said that the car drove super straight um, on the highway the whole way back. So, you know, hard to find a perfect Fox that's uh, what, 28 years old or so, but, when you can find one like this, it's been a good driver. Um, you really can't complain. So gas gauge even worked, which is another bonus that I like to see um, on an old Fox body because, you know, we all know we can get a certain amount of range out of uh, our gas tank, but it always helps when the gauge actually works. So I was just about to put the hood down and I realized something that you hardly ever see on a Fox body. Check out the prop rod clip. It's actually not broken which is amazing. And that is one thing, uh, going back to my video on um, how to treat your Fox body and you know how fragile these cars are. Somebody actually made the comment to uh, be careful when you're putting your prop rod back in the clip so that you don't break it. That is the story on this 1993 Reef Coupe. Um, hopefully, you know, you guys found the video interesting, another find. Um, and it's cool, you know, when you just find something randomly in marketplace these days and it was the benefit was again, him being 
um, a far drive from you know Toronto and the uh, busy metropolis. Um, so that kind of worked to my advantage a little and it was a long weekend. So a lot of people probably had plans and everything else. And um, again, um, huge shout out to the seller of this car for just being so honest, transparent and upfront. Um, I never even you know, haggled with his price. Um, he said, you know, I'm not even sure I want to sell this car. I just figured I'd throw it up because uh, he wants to invest more into his boat and fishing and doesn't have enough time for this, uh, for this Fox. So um, again, I love it when someone says there's no rust and there's actually no rust. So until next time, thanks again for following along. We'll see you then.